Hey everyone! Alright, so I have to admit, I was looking at our YouTube channel the other day, and I know that not everybody follows us on Instagram, so if you only follow us on YouTube, you may be under the impression that we're still in Orlando, because we are still pushing out videos from that trip back in June. And I know not everybody likes, you know, the older videos, but that's how this channel operates. But as you can see, obviously, we are back home, and I know um, I've been wanting to do some home vlogs, but I really don't want to scrap this footage. The reason I say that is because I was sitting on this Wine Bar George video for the longest time because, and I'm just going to come clean with this, I was in such a pissy mood that day and I didn't really want to vlog. I just wanted to get it over with. Um, Caleb had just woken up from a nap, so he was kind of like out of it and not really feeling it. But Steve, you know, he's just like, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. We love this place. This is going to be a great video. And I was like, uh. Um, so I had a, I had a, bad taste in my mouth with this video. I did go back and look at the footage. It's not as bad as I remembered, so, but just know I'm not really feeling it at the beginning, but I do eventually snap out of it. Um, and I will go ahead and leave in those lovely moments for you. So anyways, without any further ado, here is Wine Bar George. Hey everyone, so tonight we are in Disney Springs. It is a Friday night. I've been really looking forward to this reservation. We are here at Wine Bar George. Now we've been here before, but it's been a hot minute. I have to admit, I have been really looking forward to this reservation. The last time we were here, we had a great experience. I'm ready for some good steak, a nice glass of wine. Let's go check it out. I remember at this point, I turned around and I could not find Steve and Caleb. I was so upset <laughs> that they had just left me and gone to the table because I had no idea where they were. All right, so we have sat down. They have sat at this table here where we are on stools, which is interesting. The menu is here on the, let me see if I can get a shot of this for you. All right, All right so we have, we have sat down and here is the menu. It is a QR code that's affixed to the table. Um, but as you can see, they have, I mean, we are here at Wine Bar George. The menu, oh God. I got the All right, so for Caleb, we ordered him a cherry smash, which is a mocktail here. It's made with cherry grenadine and Sprite. Okay, so as we stated, we ordered for Caleb a mocktail. This is called the cherry smash. This is cherry, lime, and soda. Little man, take a sip. What do you think? This is their signature old fashioned here at Wine Bar George. I'm going to try it. It is with a locally sourced American whiskey, so I'm very interested about the flavor of this. That's with Putin's Young. So here we go. It's a great general old fashioned. You can definitely tell the Hooten's Young is a little bit of a younger whiskey here. Uh, you don't want to have that like, you know, complexity that you typically get with a well aged whiskey, but it hits the mark. It's what you want from a classic old fashioned. So I'm all about it. Cheers. Because we are here at Wine Bar George, they have an extensive collection of wines for you to try by both the glass, different sizes as well. So you have six ounces, three ounces based on the the bottles and Caleb is highlighting certain bottles as well. You have two pages here where you'd be able to choose from. So uh, definitely if you're a wine lover, this is a place to be. Are you a wine lover, Caleb? I'm trying to be funny. Yeah, you're trying to be funny? I just want to jump in here again real quick because I don't make a mention of it on the video. I did not like that table. I did not like sitting on that little stool for a dinner like this. If you can see, the table is kind of low compared to the height of the stool. It was just not comfortable to sit like that, especially if you know I've been having some leg issues lately. I would have much preferred a traditional style chair, which they do have at Wine Bar George. We just didn't get a seat like that that night. Our appetizer has arrived. This is the burrata, and it's served with seasonal tomatoes, olive oil, and crostini. And Caleb's hot dog has just been delivered. He requested wiggly lines. Caleb? Mm. Wiggly lines of ketchup. You have some apple juice. Wiggly lines. <laughs> You're silly. All right, let's try some. That's funny. It is funny. That's good. You see You see it? Oh, you're so crazy. Apparently you got a second one. Alright, come on, let's eat. Okay. And then Mike is diving into burrata over here. I have to admit, this is very tomato heavy. So I realize that I'm a grown adult. Maybe I should just try tomatoes and not like just worry about my preference being a problem. So for my burrata, I have some tomatoes on it. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm not too concerned. I know I I, I do enjoy some tomatoes. It's just 
it's a textural thing for me. So I think I could just grow up and be an adult about it. So we'll see. All right, so my thoughts on this burrata. We are big fans of burrata. Mm -hmm. I have to say though, I don't want to say it's lacking, but I feel like it could use some balsamic. It needs some enhancement. Too. Yeah, as I mentioned, it's served with olive oil, some tomatoes, and some cassini. It does have a, like a mint spring on there, so maybe that would help, but I feel like balsamic would really make the, the, it would take it to the next level. Yeah, elevates it for yeah. sure. Having it's said good. that, Mike saw me, I consumed some tomatoes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's not horrible, so <laughs> I don't mind it. It's actually pretty tasty. Right. As Steve mentioned, Caleb got no, it. looking at me. They're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb got a second wind, so I think we're in the clear now. <laughs> Dinner has arrived. Now we went with a family style plate. This serves anywhere from two to four people. This is the skirt steak. And as you can see, it is served with roasted potatoes, grilled bok choy, mushrooms, and a chimichurri. This looks fantastic. This is what we got before. This is the reason we're back. This skirt steak is so good. Now, unlike like, I think we're all used to having like a filet where it like melts in your mouth. The skirt steak usually has a little bit of chew to it. I was expecting more chew from this. This is delicious. It is perfectly prepared, beautifully cooked. We ordered it medium rare, so you can see that rare, or you can see that red coming through. It's got a really nice sear, so much flavor. I love it. I'll admit, yeah, that chew is what I expected here with this steak. It's almost like a filet consistency, but I think it's all about the way they prepared it. But let's not forget about the bed of vegetables that's served on. Yes, that chimichurri sauce is really good, but serving it with roasted potatoes, and I see some onions in there as well. That is like the perfect, like the perfect bite. We always talk about that. I think in general, this meal is a home run when it comes into a great family meal that can be shared with multiple people. And little man over here wants you to see him, so make sure you pan down to see him, all right? And here we are at dessert. This is the key lime pie, a Florida favorite. All right, and because Steve and I are so stuffed, we're gonna let little man who ate his whole hot dog, he gets the first bite. Right, you ready? Yeah, I get the first bite. Your stool looks very far back. Are you comfortable? <laughs> Almost half of that got in his mouth. <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh yeah? <laughs> it's a very reserved thumbs up. Oh, it's much gooder with the red stuff? I can see that, okay. Oh, awesome, thank you. To start off, the crumble at the bottom of the ground, cracker crumble is absolutely delicious. Key lime is very light, refreshing as you expect. It definitely has a consistency of a little bit more of a cheesecake than the typical like key lime tart. And then the whipped cream, as you can look closely, it actually has like a little bit of vanilla in it. This is great. I was a little bit cautious of how small it was, and we were gonna share this by I just lost a grand grand. We were gonna share this with the whole group, but uh, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm all about it. So. Little man is just dancing his way through Disney Springs. <laughs> Follow dad. This is the hilarious thing about kids. I mean, hilarious slash, it can be annoying. <laughs> Let's just be honest. You know, one hour, they're just miserable. They're so tired, but then they get their second wind and then they're actually kind of fun. And kind of <laughs> Careful. And that was our dinner at Wine Bar George. Obviously, as you can see, we forgot to film another outro. Like we always do. <laughs> it's becoming routine. I think so. Um, but yeah, I think it was a great experience outside yeah. of like the seating. I don't know if you could really tell at the dessert, but I actually end up starting standing because yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's an awkward table, but yeah, you know, in your, general, your back hurts after a while. It does. It does. And like makes me feel like an old person, but you know, whatever. <laughs> the food is great. We food still want to go back because the food's amazing. So yeah. with that, I mean, that's a, that's a glowing recommendation. I have to say. Yeah, it really is. I really recommend it. Deb, just get a good seat, get a good table. <laughs> food is phenomenal. Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. Yeah.